What's the biggest lie you've ever heard about you? <laughs> that I got booed. Uh, that I got booed uh, on Def Jam. <laughs> and, 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 and it cr- didn't happen. And, and then uh, uh, and then Chris Rock uh, destroyed my career. How did Chris? Where Rock? did that come from? That yeah. Uh, Mike Epps said that. Mike Epps said that on uh, on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. A whole lot of people. I mean, they lie on me. Yeah. You know, uh, so, but. What's I ain't. the biggest lie you've ever heard about you? <laughs> that I got booed. Uh, that I got booed uh, on Def Jam. <laughs> and, 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 and it cr- didn't happen. And, and then uh, uh, and then Chris Rock uh, destroyed my career. How did Chris Where Rock? did that come from? That yeah, uh, Mike Epps said that. Mike Epps said that on, uh, on The Breakfast Club. Why would he say something like that? Because, okay, when I when I did Def Jam, so I had to go. I said, it had to go so much, so back, so much stuff happening. See, when I tried to get on Def Jam in '91, okay. I gave Steve Harvey the tape. Steve Harvey showed it to the Def Jam people, mm-hmm. and the Def Jam people said, "No, nah, I don't think he can, you know, do the same thing that Steve said. He can't do no, you know, no black cut." They said, mm-hmm. "Steve said they didn't, they didn't, they don't think he can do it." I said, "Okay." Then so Bill Bellamy came down to Boo Boo Ray do the show. So I was working with Bill Bellamy, and Bill Bellamy lived in New Jersey, and the Peppermint Room made the decisions on who can be on Def Jam. So Bill Bellamy told me, "Hey man, why don't you come up to uh, uh, New Jersey?" So when the tickets got real cheap, I got me a ticket, and went up there, did real good, came down. The guy uh, uh, Bob Sumner said, "You're gonna be on Def Jam," and I said, "Okay." So I get back to Dallas. We're on the Tom Jonah show. I just whispered to Dom, Tom Jonah about it. He said, can we talk about it? I said, no, we can't talk about it. We can't talk about it. And then uh, he kept on nugging me, and I said, yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> Y'all going to uh, be on Def Jam. He said, sure, going to be on Def Jam. Bam. And then when Def Jam came to do the Aaron, they didn't call me. Wow. Mm. Then, But I called them. And then they sent me a letter say, "You, call, we call you, don't you call us?" Ooh, wow, <laughs> you know. And then so, and and, and I, uh, then I just said, "Man, they don't want to. They want that old nasty comedy. They don't want that, you know, clean mm-hmm. comedy." Because I had to sit back and realize, I didn't really fit Def Jam mold. Mm. I wasn't really talking about going, you know. Pussy, you know, I, yeah, I, I would. I, I would you end up on I, there, right? I, yeah, well, because what happened, Bill Cosby said something about Def Jam. And then they changed hosts. Martin left, and so they got Joe Torrey to be the okay. host. So they now they need a new crop of comedians. Mm. And since so I was working with Tina Graham, who was an assistant to Bob Sumner, so she, she was pushing for me to get on there. And then I finally got on. But they wasn't expecting me to hit. Like I hit. I mean, I didn't knock him out the park. But you, I didn't have him fallen. But I was, I was, I was steady in my jokes, and I was steady in in the performance. So who's hosting when you was Joe Torre? Joe Torre was the host. When when Joe Torre was hosting and everything, was was Steve still involved at this time or no? Uh, I think I think we was, I think we was going out. I think we because the club had broke up. Uh, I think we was going out. Uh, uh, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.